It's that time of year again. People are coming out with gift guides. In this video, I thought I would put a twist on it and give you guys my gift recommendations of quirky things to give that supple cyclist in your life. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you love bikes but don't necessarily race and enjoy the supple life, you have found your people. So hit that subscribe button. And a lot of you that are new to the channel are probably wondering what the hell is a supple cyclist? Well, in big, broad, rough strokes. It's someone that's not so concerned about being super fast, but wants to explore further. And it's someone that wants to savor a ride and not just Strava it. And so in that vein, here are some fun and quirky gifts for the supple cyclist. Every cyclist knows that food is fuel. Uh, some cyclists are very food motivated, myself included. And one must be opportunistic on the bike ride. So it's always good to have an Opinel. There is the classic light wood color, but there is also a dark colored one, which is pretty classy and also something a little bit different. If you want to take this up to the next level, you guys have to check out this travel cutting board kit. We actually just picked this up at a craft fair here in Montana. It's got a little holder for your uh, Opinel and inside is a mini cutting board. I mean, how cool is this? This will really t take your uh, bike picnicking and bike touring meals to the next level. Along those same lines, everyone has a spork, but do you have a small mini spork that you can always access? So this cool little uh, multi-tool uh, spork is really handy. I usually have it clipped onto my handlebar bag, part bottle opener, of course, and also it has some uh, bucks and wrenches which I actually found really helpful. I used them to tighten down some uh, bolts on a front rack once. Cyclists, of course, don't subsist on food alone. You also drink lots of coffee. And if you want to take your coffee brewing to the next level while on bike tour or gifting someone that loves coffee, I recommend these two brewers. One is the Kalila Wave. It's similar to the V60, but is a lot more dummy proof instead of pouring. So if you're out there camping and you don't have access to a goose, neck kettle, like some kind of heathen in the woods. The way it's designed, it will still give you good extraction. For those that need a more packable option, we've been using this Snow Peak Folding V60 for years. What I love about it is that it, there are no plastic parts, so there's not like any weird chemical releases when you're pouring hot water over it. And it folds down pretty flat, and it's Snow Peak, so it's shiny goodness. So moving away from the food, you know, part of bike riding is recording your ride and sharing it with others. And yes, you could join the masses and just use a digital camera or an iPhone, or you can do it more artisanally, more supply. So if you want to record your ride in an analog fashion, I totally recommend these uh, mini traveler's notebooks. It's really a, a simple leather flap here and it's got rubber bands that allows you to put in different notebooks. You can put uh, lined ones in here, uh, dot grids, which are the jam. These come in different sizes. There is a longer one. This is the mini passport version. And uh, this doesn't quite fit the field note size notebook, but there is a field note size leather cover just like this one. All the links are gonna be in the description below. Of course, you'll need something to jot down all your deep thoughts and uh, your ride report. And some people would recommend a black wing, which is pretty cool, but I think cooler still and more functional is the Stadler Mars Technico uh, lead holder. So this holds uh, two millimeter leads like so. And you can sharpen it to a super fine point. And what's cool about this is it doesn't shrink as you use it because it is a lead holder. Uh, the leads last really long. You can swap them out from different hardnesses. So if you're uh, sketching on your bike ride or your bike tour, or just merely writing in your journal, you can swap out the appropriate lead. You can also retract the tip all the way in so it becomes pocket safe. When you put it in your pannier, it's not gonna punch a hole through your bag. If you're more into pens, uh, there is no classier way to, to write in your journal than with a fountain pen. Uh, a really cool gift idea would be the Kaveco uh, brass or aluminum fountain pen. Small, classy, German made, a gift that'll last a lifetime and will uh, survive being knocked around your handlebar bag. So before Instagram, there was painting. A lot of you know I'm super into watercolor, so I'm gonna recommend this kit right here. So I'm gonna recommend the Winston Newton Cotman uh, pocket sketchers. And what I like about this is it uses standard small uh, half pans. So as you use this paint up, you can refill it with uh, different other professional artist grade pans or buy an uh, empty pan and fill it with your own paints. So small, portable, uh, and gives you a lot of room to grow. And along with that, a simple brush pen like this Niji brush pen and a pentallic watercolor uh, notebook. 
These are awesome. Uh, they come in different sizes. They even come in a square one. So if you want to uh, paint square Instagram shaped uh, watercolors, you can do that. And the paper is really good quality. It'll uh, hold up to a couple different washes and it's truly double sided. Some watercolor notebooks, they only uh, work really well on one side, but this I found you can actually paint on both sides uh, pretty well. All right, so let's talk about actual bike stuff. Uh, if you're like me and you're cheap, but you love Bicycle Quarterly, a great gift idea is to give the gift of a subscription. And that way you can be all up on the latest uh, news and reviews from Jan Heine. So in terms of more functional uh, gifts for on the bike, I'm gonna recommend a bunch of stuff from Silka right now. Uh, one, we reviewed this uh, pump. This is the uh, Silka Tatico pump. And what I, what I love about this is it's got a built-in uh, flex hose, which you don't have to screw on and off. It's got a locking chuck, uh, so you don't screw this onto the press the valve and accidentally unscrew the core. All metal body, truly one of the best uh, mini road style pumps uh, out there I've tried. If there is any uh, one ding to this one is I wish they would come out with a higher volume one so you can use it for uh, mountain bike tires and you know really big supple tires. All right the next gift idea I mentioned in a previous video and that is the Silka ratcheting toolkit. Uh, I absolutely love this toolkit. I actually use this at home. I find that by using uh, ratcheting tools, I'm less likely to round out a bolt head and it makes it really quick to uh, remove things like racks and fenders because you can kind of just do everything in a super quick motion. And one last tool from Silka. This comes in uh, two versions. One is this very fancy at home version of their uh, Ypsilon, Ypsilon? I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. Ypsilon three way uh, wrench. This is the home edition. It comes in this cool presentation box. I'm actually going to do a more in-depth review on this tool because I think it's actually pretty interesting. It's like a three-way tool on steroids. Basically there is a four, a five, uh, and then this red portion which you can swap out for different tools. Uh, this is a six and the kit itself comes with a bunch of Torx bits and smaller size uh, hex wrenches. One cool thing about this is if you already have the ratcheting set, uh, you can use these bits as well, or also use it in coordination with uh, the torque wrench and the extender. You can get this tool without the presentation box and all the other bits, so if you already have uh, the, the ratcheting set, this makes a good addition. Or if you're starting from scratch, you can get this really fancy uh, home edition with the presentation box. Silka stuff is just, it's just so nice. One last gift idea. Uh, this is actually going to be my accessory of the year and it's the Redshift Shock Stop Stem. You know, I tested it kind of on a whim thinking I would hate it, but it really, it's, it's such a cool accessory. If you've already maxed out the tire width on your bike, but want just a little bit more suspension, especially on the front, this is a great option. It, w it will work on any bike that uses an inch and an eighth uh, steerer tube. So you're not locked into some uh, really complicated suspension system. You can take it off if you hate it, but you probably won't. Definitely one of our favorite accessories of the year and one I highly recommend as a gift uh, for your friend that wants more suppleness or for yourself. Finally, last two things. Uh, you can't be riding a bike and looking like a scrub. So I totally recommend these cycling caps from our friend Zach who's got an Etsy shop called Ride Hard Live Happy. Uh, he's got lots of fun colors, uh, asymmetric design. Uh, this one is olive and camo. So if you're looking for a cycling cap and want to support a small maker, he's based outside of uh, Seattle, Washington, uh, check out his Etsy store in the description below. And last but not least, GCN put this on their gift list this year and we only like reviewed it like two years ago. So they're finally catching up and that is the safety pizza. Yes, safety doesn't have to be dull and boring. It can be fun, but still effective. I've used many different kind of reflector blinky things on my bike over the last couple of years. And by far the one that people seem to notice the most and comment on the most, which I guess is a good thing because it means they see it right, is the safety pizza. And since I've had my version, uh, they've really upped their game. They are now two-sided. They've got cords and everything. Still gluten-free and vegetarian options available. So check out the safety pizza. So that's it for my list of interesting and quirky gifts for the supple cyclist. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm probably gonna do one more uh, gear gift list, a little bit more straightforward, but I thought I would throw a wrench in the big 
gear list machine. And let me know what you think about these items. If you're interested in any of them, check out the, the, the links in the description below. Uh, if you like this content, consider supporting the channel. And as always, keep the supple side down.